Ladies and gentlemen, this Red Gaming Ted.com video. I am pleased to announce some information on Mass Effect 4, including a rough release date and also some news about some of the previous characters in the series. First of all, the bad news we're not going to be seeing Mass Effect 4 for at least two years. So it basically is going to be released um, mid. 2015 to late 2014 so we've got a while to wait effectively so you guys better get used to um, hankering over the screenshots the game's only been in development for about a month or two uh, that's what an anonymous bioware team member is reported to say so to say the least it's early in development yet so we don't really know all the details now, what we do know is that Commander Shepard himself, or herself, depending on which sex you chose for the character to actually end up being, will not be returning. And this isn't really a surprise, this has been hinted at multiple times before. Um, whether we're going to see them even slightly or mention in the story, we're not sure. Um, and at the moment, we're not even really 100% certain of whether it's going to be a sequel or a prequel. As you guys might know, there's going to be at least one more piece of Mass Effect 3 DLC. That's not exactly confirmed when it's going to be released, but we do know that it's going to likely be set on the Citadel. It's also fairly interesting, actually, in the various pieces of information, that they actually said they want to do the multiplayer in Mass Effect 2, and they actually started to work on it and they just figured it was too much so they actually delayed it for Mass Effect 3. This is actually contrary to what a lot of people thought. Um, myself included, I actually assumed that Mass Effect 3 was just something they were like, hey, you know what, we want to add multiplayer to this game. And, um, you know, they kind of decided upon that during the process of Mass Effect 3 appears to be wrong. Personally, I've been vocal and said that I haven't really liked the multiplayer aspect of Mass Effect 3. I'll tell you why. Um, it's actually a, a very simple reason, and that's because I don't really like the idea of multiple other people playing the same storyline. I know it's obvious that other people do, um, but I like to feel like the hero of the story, if that makes sense. And just similar to Knights of Republic Online, I, I couldn't really get into it because I like the original storyline of, say, the Old Republic 1 and 2, uh, Knights of Old Republic 1 and 2, and the idea of kind of sharing that universe with everyone else and, you know, not being like Revan or something, that's kind of like the reason I played the game, to be kind of thrown into the storyline. It's not like I'm playing World of Warcraft and thought to myself, hey, you know what, um, I'm going to be, you know, playing with like another nine or 24 other players to take down Illidan or something. I and mean, obviously this is just a bit of a tangent on my part, but I thought I'd just throw it out there. Anyway, apparently there's also some other scrapped ideas for Mass Effect 3, including a mission on the home world for the Turians. Um, basically, you would visit the moon um, on the final version of the game, which isn't obviously as cool. And another thing that was really weird, but they actually scrapped, was a boss battle where Commander Shepard would fight the elusive man who had been transformed by the Reapers. But that was scrapped because, and I suppose quite rightly, too many other games had done very similar things. For those of you with the Wii U, apparently Bioware also been very busy with Mass Effect plans for the Wii U, which is going to be receiving a trilogy pack at some point or another. Uh, anyway, he has gone on to say that the Wii U console is, we really feel is really cool and that more Mass Effect would look great on it. So we do have plans for the Wii U, but nothing to announce at the moment. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, it's not really a surprise that some of the stuff, it's not really a surprise that, for example, Mass Effect 4 is going to take so long to release. Likely, of course, it's not going to be, say, on the Xbox 360 or PS4. It's, sorry, a PS3, it's probably going to be over on the PS4 or indeed on, say, the Xbox 360 and otherwise the next generation of consoles. Uh, who knows if it's going to end up being or Mass Effect 4 are referred to on the Wii U. Maybe they're talking about an entire new separate project. Who the heck knows? It will also be interesting to see just what they do with that level of technology and you know, obviously you know, the power of those consoles. And of course, that would 
go on to say with the PC versions of the game as well. As you guys might know, it uses an Unreal Engine as its core, so it'll be very interesting how that functions since if you guys have been seeing the Unreal Tech demos, if those guys are using that as the base of the system, I have a feeling it's going to be very impressive to say the least. Not to mention the fact that obviously if it's going to be on those systems, they've got so much more memory to play with, and I don't just mean system physical RAM, but obviously on a Blu-ray disc and so forth, um, there's going to be so much more conversation options, so much better textures, um, and so much more cool stuff they can do in the galaxy. Anyway, I think that's going as far as I need to go with this video. I think you guys have the point and it's certainly something to ponder at the very least. So if you guys would like to uh, leave a comment below, that would be fantastic. And if you guys would be so good as to make sure you take care of yourselves. Bye for now and I will see you soon.